What's up, Reefers? Welcome to another episode of Alex Pora Coral. I'm Alex Wilson, your host, and this is more of the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's right, where I show you some of the good, some of the whole bunch of the bad, and a whole bunch of the ugly, and the main ugly is right here. And I have some chicken manure reefing series. That's right, folks, you heard it right. That's where I am adding chicken manure to my aquariums with acropora and small pot corals in them I'm crazy nut I'm a crazy reefer doing crazy things so come check it out and see if they and watch them die with me so here we go and so today I got an order in from bulk reef supply over here and I got some uh, back up uh, thermometer uh, thermometer tips probes for the Inkbird uh, thermometer um, controllers that I use on my aquariums that heat, control the heating and the cooling. So it's good to have the backup ones right here ready to go because they can fail every once in a while and you can quickly switch them out. They're plug and play on there which is kind of a nice uh, feature of those Inkbird controllers and I got some phosphate reagent of the ultra low range right so that's right into the range that I want to use on there and speaking of phosphate on here let's check out the where I'm at check out the coral quarantine system over here there it is and on this one the phosphate uh, was at 0.1 and, and well same as the main display and so I dosed that up to uh, 0.15 parts per million phosphate and so on the nitrate, it, I dosed it on both systems up to 15 parts per million. And then the, uh, the, the potassium, that's right at 460 parts per million. So that looks good there as well. And so then I added a little bit of food from there. This time I went with a little bit of reefroids on this one. Just... Uh, fourth of the recommended amount and then I added more chicken manure to the main display so that's what it's looking like today and let's check it out and see what we got going over here and got uh, everybody seems to be doing okay over here Check out the polyp extension on them. It's looking good over there. I got the key lime pie. There he is. Got a little bit more polyp extension on them. Good color. Looking okay. Yeah, as well as the other guys over here. Got the nuclear green Millie over there. I got the I got the pink lemonade right here. Got the Tierra del Fuego. And firecracker table. It's and I moved the the firecracker tenuous over here to this spot. Hope we tune in great there. And the salmon coral. And I moved the scania coral over here. Just dying on me. What's left of it? So hopefully it'll. If it was just let it die away right there, or come back. I don't know if there might be a small chance. I'll leave it there and find out. And check out that green Bali Slimer. There it is. Straight from Bali, Indonesia. And then there's the blue Bali Slimer right there. Let's check out how these guys are doing over here. And yep. Sure enough, Princess Peach still here. As well as the famous Rainbow Splice. I can't believe it. There it is. Still got, still alive. Got that nice yellow with the uh, Walt Disney, and then the home wrecker. Looking about the same. I can't believe it. They're still alive. I thought they would be fading now, and and and, and rapid tissue necrosis on these guys just dying away quickly. But they're still holding on so far. And, okay, so I got this shipment in just last time I showed you guys. It's really, it's almost like a, almost like a colony. 
small calling instead of a frag right there for um, Carl's love there on that uh, eBay. So I'm going to have to bring them up out of there a little bit. It's got good pop extension on them right now. Nice and orange. Got that nice uh, Monte Poro orange fluorescence. That's nice as, as well as the, the orange to Tulsa back over there. And so, yep, hopefully it'll do pretty good. Think about pulling them out a little bit more, a little bit later. So the thing is, is I got this one on the shipment, but it actually came a day late. So yeah, you know, it was a whole day late, a whole two days of shipping, and I couldn't believe it. They made it. See, they, they shipped pretty okay. And figured they would be gone for sure, especially the Monte Pora. This is the, it's called the, supposedly they were selling as a forest fire, but the forest fire has green underneath it. So this probably has, the, I think it has green tips. So it's probably the, more like the bubble gum, but there it is. It's the orange digitata Monte Pora. And so I got that one as well as the Turbinaria right here, Cup Coral. Also on the same two days worth of shipping. So I don't know, there it is, so far so good. That one, and the, the it's like the Colt Coral right there. So it's starting to open up a little bit, but yep, two days shipping, man, the poor guys. So, it's supposed to be just one. So they did pretty good considering. Last time I had the, a shipment of Acroporus from the East Coast delivered, and it, that happened about three-fourths of them were dead and uh, then I had one that lasted uh, I had one uh, it took three days three days it was delayed the shipping and hard to believe it that it was shipped right here from unique corals and that's here right here in Los Angeles right well it's just like a two hours drive but there was like this storm and so there's what happens is that we've got this mountain range right here between us and the coastline such that um, you know it was they couldn't get it across so you know I, I guess it was it was snowing or, or raining or what have you and the pass was closed so they so that's why it was um, it was a pass it's called interstate 5 a huge freeway anyway it goes to anyway it still gets closed up up over there you know like that from just the slightest little whatever storm so three days and and everything was dead and except for one small mushroom that did make it it's a fuzzy fuzzy go check them out here in a second but unique corals was nice enough to refund me the entire amount so i had the whole whole the whole shipment was uh, completely refunded to me by uh joe over there thanks caparata over there at a uh, unique coral so i appreciate that that got my money back I was able to get some good replacements and this is this Ganyo pour over here I did put it over here that is dying it looks really bad it's not opening back up so more of the ugly and more of the bad for you right there all right so let's check out the main display see how it's doing today yep yeah, it's looking good and we got these Ganyo poros over here they're looking a little bit better Except for the red one right there, it's, it's gonna open back up, but anyway, the other one's looking better. This one, and the one in the back over there, and the purple one there. Just fed these guys their, their weekly uh, dose of canned tuna. That's right, I'm a crazy reefer over here. I not only feed myself tuna, I feed the aquariums canned tuna as crazy. The heliofungi, the bubbles, all of the large polyp corals, absolutely go insane over the canned tuna. They love tuna. Can't believe it. Corals are so carnivorous, they'll eat people probably. But anyway, they're certainly into tuna. <laughs> so, green slimer, there he is. Still got polyp extensions, still got color. Call me crazy, but I think it might have grown maybe like a just one fourth of a millimeter. Might have just grown a little bit. I don't know. 
or a little bit under the frag plug right there. I think it might be a millimeter's worth of um, growth right there. But, oh yeah, I was going to show you guys this mushroom over here that, that made it. It was one. It was one of the fuzzy mushrooms. So fuzzy mushrooms, pretty darn tough, right, you little thing? What do you say? Yep. Fuzzy mushrooms are pretty tough. I know it's crazy. Well, let's find this what mushroom. All right, so we got one of these fuzzy mushrooms that made the trip through. Oh, here they are. So it was this one right there. I think it was a green one. Might have been the, the just the brown one right there. Anyway, one of these guys, they made it through three days worth of shipping, so pretty tough for the mushrooms. Got to hand it to them. Pretty tough stuff to go through that kind of shipping. All right, guys. Well, I think what else? But I guess that's it. Alright, so anyway, check back for the next update. I got new corals coming. I got new, uh, let's see, new corals coming. I got some uh, Christmas tree warm rock on it. I got some, I got a dragon soul, a whole bunch of different stuff. I can't even remember so many things. Alright, guys, well, that's the yellow tank saying bye. So I'll check you guys. Happy reefing. Bye.